What's up guys? Today is Friday. Woo! Finally Friday. Cause today is the best day of the week. Y'all know what day it is. Y'all know what time it is. Y'all know who's out here. So let's go do it. Come on. Uh-oh, the grill's gone. Somebody must have yeah, won the grill. Keenan Ross, uh, out here out of Bainville, won it. Over at Bainville uh, Trucking. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, he got he was the lucky fella who won that. Has he made you a bocce yet? No, not yet. So I'm talking about he's not cooking <laughs> me something on him now. <laughs> that's right. Fat boy got to eat. I know it. I know the yeah, feeling. He's cooking me something on there. He should have He should have cooked you something. Yeah. Williams, huh? Now they started out, or did Snap On? Which one started first? I know them two's got a history together. I think Snap On was the. I think I'm not 100. percent I don't know exactly on the, when it started. I mean, what the name of it was, but I think it was Snap On first, and then Williams or they bought J H Williams or something. I think there. so. Because Snap On has been known to buy other companies all the time on a regular basis. Yep. Like and, uh, Challenger? Yeah. That's a prime example. Yep. And uh, uh, the, the Torque Wrenches, they bought over, uh, I think, a CDI. Mm -hmm. And now our boxes, they can these have Made in America on there because they bought the company that does the drawer slides and the casters. Wow. Bought them, so they. I can put made in America, not assembled in America, back on them. Now they bought um, an AC plant too, or AC machine plant too, didn't they? In Little Rock, yeah. or in not Little Rock, but in Arkansas. Yeah. Uh, they got that. So all of our AC machines over there. Uh, of course, they own uh, John Bean or whatever. We got that. Where all our equipment stuff is. So try to where we manufacture our own stuff. And obviously, one company can't do it all, but. I mean, they can buy the company and be the parent company over that to be able to do it. Yeah. If you got the deep enough pockets, you yeah. own it all before it's <laughs> over with. <laughs> yeah, that's about how it works, though. Well, Snap On definitely got them deep pockets. That's why they, uh, instead of getting so and so to make it for you, and then you're giving them part of your money, yeah. just, just buy them out, and then that way all that money's yours then. So. Simple, ain't it? Just yeah. buy them out. <laughs> Just Must buy be them nice. out. That's all you gotta do. Just yeah. buy them out. Must be nice. That's for sure. Mm -hmm. Looks like you got your ratchet stocked back up. Yep. We got one box in this week. Everything went slow with everything going on with the COVID and all this other stuff. But we did get some ratchets in. Got, uh, of course, a bunch of repairs in. Did you see thing? where they're doing the new grips like this with the high vis handles on them? Yep. That's cool. Yeah. You need to get some of those. Yeah, we, uh, I seen them. That'd look good too. They've been doing them, of course, on all your pliers right. and stuff. They've been able to get it for a while. They do blue on special occasions. I think I was told that they're going to be permanent with a bunch of different colors now. I know they did like the purple and you mm -hmm. get the gray and all them. Yeah. I don't know when. But. So that was one of the things I was kind of on the fence on that screwdriver set. I really like that gray and the black. Yeah together i mean that's a sharp looking screwdriver set but yeah. i was worried in a year not being able to get the gray if something would break a handle or yeah. something on it that's, that's the cool. only bad thing about the limited edition yep. colors you know yeah if but, it's something that you use every day then you that's true well ain't got nothing new oh uh, we got them in i think we got these we got some race car wheels or trailer wheels now I was going my race cars, the front tires, the front skis. Tires, yeah. Let me show you what's going on with these. Went racing this past weekend. You did a burnout on the front tires? <laughs> yeah. Well, I had to like the first or second round, the guy parked next to me came up. He's like, hey, he said, something's wrong with your front tire over here. Come check it out. Look like he's trying to give birth. Yeah. He asked me, he said. Uh, That's probably from when you was burning it up and it was popping the ground back yeah, down. Yeah, ain't no fear of that <laughs> He said, uh, you gonna keep racing like that? I said, well, heck yeah, I am. I said, would you? He said, well, heck no, I'll be afraid I'd hit the wall. I was like, that's what that seat belt and roll cage is for, you know? Can't live life Them look like they come off a Toyota Corolla. 
little bitty suckers, skinny ones. But we got some of them ordered. I actually go get them here in a little bit. Won't be able to race this weekend. Or I hope I will, but right now, I'm not going to. Well, it's close to rain. You may have to get your race boat out. Your race boat out. <laughs> if I'm getting on the boat, racing's the last thing I'm thinking about. I like to race the bottom of that cooter on the boat. That's it. That's the only race <laughs> I'm doing. This is a heavy set, Phyllis. Golly, that box is <laughs> empty. Well, I don't wait nothing, does it? No. Got the torques and screwdrivers, hex. That's pretty sharp. Only on quarter inch drive. I haven't ever seen these and got them in the other day. They're lightweight, ain't they? Yeah. BLP BSS 40. Nice. Pretty neat little set right there. $3,300. Somewhere around there, probably. <laughs> I'd have to look them up. I can't even remember right off my hand. Did, uh, so. did you end up having my little quarter inch 13 millimeter wobble socket? Yep. Good deal. <clears throat> I have no Got clue. That. Actually, I think I do know where it's at. I think it's somewhere down in the valley of that 7.3 <laughs> that was in there so long. Oh, I see it. I think it was the size, wasn't it? I know I texted you. I'll have to go back and look. I think it was a 13 though. Yeah, I think it was. I can look at my phone and find out and see before we get off here. I can look right here. I'm pretty sure that's what size it was. I know I went to get it, it wasn't in there. I was like, hmm. Well, yeah, 13 millimeter. That's right. $67, is that how much it was? <laughs> 67. 67. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna get text messages over 67. Hey, somebody's gonna get mad, so I yeah. guess go ahead and tell the truth. How much is it? 84. 84, that's 89.99. <laughs> People get all bent out of shape. Man, be getting some text messages over that one. You think if anybody's <laughs> concerned about you ripping me off, it would be me, don't you? That's the least concerned <laughs> one. I... <laughs> you think I should be the one that would be yeah. upset about it? People want to know how I sleep at night, knowing I charge what I charge. I was like, mm -hmm. most time with both eyes closed, you know? <laughs> well, well, I need to see. Oh, that's not the brute. That was the brute. How much is the tool only? Because here's the deal while I ain't bought it yet, and I'm just going to tell you why I ain't bought it yet. <laughs> I bought the regular one, and then I'd be <laughs> darned if the next week you didn't come out with this one. So, that's where. That's where we're at. Give on it. That's why I ain't got that one. So you got the feelings hurt just a little bit. I got the, well, I mean, I ain't wore the other one out yet. So I, I did use it twice. Yeah. And it like broke my hand the first time because I wasn't expecting, like I'm I, used to the long neck one, you know, like you can hang on to it and it'll Yeah, and that's what the, the new one, it ain't, it, it just, it'll keep going. We was working on the car the other night and that's what my boy, I told him, I said, go get your ratchet out and take this bolt out because he was doing it. And uh, then he dropped it and it hit the floor and everything. I said, what the heck you doing, boy? He said, dang it, jerked out my hand by there and pulled me over off in the hood with it. I said, <laughs> I said you got the new one out, didn't you? He said, yeah. yeah. I said, yeah. He grabbed the brood out. And he That's what it. I was doing was tightening up a brake caliper bolt, you know. Yeah. And usually on that long neck one, the regular one, it run it down and then you could turn it Get about another, snug. about a half a turn and she is done, you know. That man, she, uh, it's like hitting a brick wall. <laughs> he was running down through there and about, he said, I'm pull him over the fender off into the hood, off into the engine bay with him. He let it go and let it hit the floor. <laughs> Can't have nothing nice these Can't days. Can't have nothing. I'm going to see him that. So when is Snap-on going to come out with a blue comfort grip like that? They got every other color. I don't know. I'll check on it and see. 
Yeah, they, they get a lot of them. I've got a ton of colors. Let's see if they got the numbers in here. Y'all got that Zeus on sale for fifteen hundred dollars yet? Down? No, total price. Oh, I don't know about that one yet. <laughs> I used that Apollo this morning. I like it. Boy, it looks funny not to see a toolbox over there or something. It ain't been empty in a while. You got one in there you could put in yeah, here. Yeah, <laughs> I need to get it today. Go ahead and do that. Got two of them in there. Yeah. Yeah, we need to get one of them put in here. So they got something put in there. Trying to figure out what kind of giveaway we're going to do next. I do need to get is one of the uh, cutting blades for my air hammer. What are you going to be cutting on? Like cutting a bolt off or something, you know. Okay. Something like that. Is the silver ones better than the gold ones? No, that's just the ones that we make now. The gold ones was somebody else was doing for us. Yeah. But now we do our own and they change them to silver for some reason. And these the silver ones is the ones that was gold and I sold and we well, reordered them. Yeah, because I know my flat ones are gold. Yeah. All in. Yep. Do a bunch of bunch of the chisels like these and the flat ones. I tell you what, that little old wire hammer. We did that uh, K fifteen hundred front end job. Yeah. They buy it. That air hammer. Of course, you have to cut the like it's the dumbest crap. I think it was a ninety four model. Why Chevrolet done this? I don't know. The bottom ball joint bolts are riveted in with big old rivets. Hey, so you got to. So we them drilled them out, and then we used the air hammer to chisel the heads and the bottom off of it. Man, it, it took longer to get the darn rivets out than it did to change. Like, we <laughs> rebuilt the whole front end, upper control arms, ball joints. Like, we did tie rod ends. I mean, everything was brand new underneath the front end of that truck. Even the steering sector box. I mean, everything was brand new. Yeah. It took longer to get those. It was four rivets on each side, those eight rivets out, than it did to rebuild that whole front end. <laughs> Like, I don't know what guy at Chevrolet thought that was a good idea to say, hey, ball joints never wear out. Let's rivet these son of guns in here. Yeah, I say it. On some of them, they're bolted in, which ain't bad. You can yeah. Just... Well, the, you know, the replacements you get, they give you the bolts to bolt them to in. To go but back that way. The factory ones was riveted, and it sucked. You know, of course, as an engineer, he never had a wrench in his hand or a screwdriver trying to work on something. Yeah. Man. That guy right there, I don't know who thought ball joints ball joints never wire out but <laughs> he's overpaid wasn't he <laughs> yeah he's yeah. overpaid for sure oh sure well i guess that'll do me today that should be all i need all right and uh hopefully i can get that paid off in eight or nine months that that in that socket. This so. in the socket. <laughs> we might get we might do it in seven. If you can if you can stretch it out to seven months, <laughs> I'm good to go. All right guys, like always, check the links down in the description. We got some cool tools, discount codes, all that good stuff. If you want some of our t-shirts and some cool stuff, right over there. If you like the video, hit the thumbs up, click that subscribe button, and we got to go. See ya.